Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here with a layout using my stash kit number three. I'm still working with this kit. It's actually the stash kit number three for 2017. I had did three full stash kits, but this one was extremely large and it was pretty much project life based, but I am working on a 12 by 12 layout today with this stash kit. So I had included a um, collection pack from Photoplay, which on the back side of every paper is a cut apart sheet but the other side generally had um, uh, pattern papers. And then I pulled out all of my Studio Calico Project Life cards, which is about a million, as you can see as I was unstacking them. And then I just added some embellishments and alpha stickers and things like that to make this kit complete. So I am working with a, um, a picture from our beach trip two years ago. Uh, yeah, two years ago in 2016. So I guess it was like a year and a half ago, rather, I should say. Um, and I am pulling out the photo play papers because those, if, since I'm doing a 12 by 12 sheet, I need the large sheets of paper. So I'm just kind of sorting through, seeing what I have here. This is still a very large kit, but as you can see, I'm starting to cut into most of the papers. Uh, I'm starting to kind of dwindle this down a bit um, and kind of working through what I have. Uh, there are a couple papers that are not exactly my favorite, like that um, orange pattern. I'm not a huge orange person, and I'm also not a huge like multicolor diagonal stripe. If it's all the same tones, I don't have a problem working with it, but for whatever reason, I have a very difficult time working with a multicolored um, diagonal stripe, or even just a multicolor stripe. For some reason, that, that's a little difficult for me to work with. So I'm looking at all the papers, trying to decide, okay, what exactly do I want to do? So this is my mom with her four grandsons and I really the my big debate here and you can see me keep going back and forth my big debate here was that this is a pink pat paper do I want to make this pattern or this layout more about her or do I want this layout more about the grandsons um, so I end up deciding to make it more about their relationship about um like how much they love their grandma and so I decided to make a big part of this layout be pink so I'm cutting about a 11 no, about a 10, well, I guess it's about 11, 11, maybe it's 10 and a half by 10 and a half um, inch square here out of that pink pattern paper. I'm just looking on the back to see if I'm cutting through anything that I, that I don't want to cut through. And then I'm cutting out the center of this wood grain paper and I'm going to make this wood grain paper be a mat for the entire layout. Now you definitely don't have to do this, but I like to conserve as much as my uh, as much of my supplies as possible and there's really no need for that because I have a ton of supplies. I have supplies to last me for years if I didn't purchase anything else. So there's really no need for me to conserve, but it's just the frugal part of me, I suppose. I can't not conserve. I just I just feel like that's unused. It's covered up. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out so I can use it again later. And I really feel like that makes the kit stretch a little bit further. So this is my main background paper here. I'm going through some of the other supplies in the kit like that pink lace washi tape. I think that'd be really pretty, but it's just a slight different color pink. And there's already two different tones of pink in that pattern paper. So I didn't really want to include a third color of pink. So I'm kind of skipping that. Now I'm just simply going through all of the supplies that I have, trying to decide what is going to work. So I've got pink, I've got the wood grain, and I've got this navy blue going on. And I really like the combination of that. There's a lot of pink and orange and um, bright colors in the photo because it was taken outside. So it's got some really nice natural light and natural colors going on. So I really felt like the bright, clean colors for the layout were really a nice compliment. Now, I do want to apologize for my voice. I have a really nasty cold. I think it's actually more of a sinus infection at this point, so I'm going to try to go to the doctor this afternoon, I think. But we are currently snowed in, so I'm recording this voiceover. It's going to go up on Saturday, but I'm actually doing the voiceover on Thursday, and we are completely snowed in. My job has been closed for two days now, and truly, it probably could be closed tomorrow, too, but um, I doubt we will because we try not to close that often. But it's just so stinking icy. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we got last time I measured and it was still snowing at the time I measured it was six and a half inches and it still snowed for a couple hours after that so I think we're probably near about eight inches of snow and as you know if you know anything about um, kind of the Piedmont region of North Carolina we don't we we're not prepared for snow and ice and so they salt the main roads 
um, but they don't plow or anything typically for, they just kind of let it melt and let it kind of do its thing. Sometimes they'll plow the highways, but um, you could be snowed in for days and they, your road will look like a sheet of ice and nobody will touch it because we're just not prepared for that. It only snows like this. Actually, hasn't snowed this much probably in years, but we get some sort of, we get ice storms in the um, late winter, and so that's kind of what we're, that's typically what we're, um, we deal with, but this is a lot of snow. It just has a nice layer of ice underneath because it was a very wet snow, which was really fun for um, sledding and throwing snowballs and things like that, but it was also very, very, very cold. So I'm just not, I'm not used to that. I'm not necessarily a cold weather person, but I do love being snowed in a good day or two. I just think it's fun to have, um, you know, be at home with your family and all of that. I just have this nasty cold to go along with it. So if I can get out to the doctor today, I am, and we're going to see if this is a sinus infection. But in the meantime, I'm making the most of being snowed in, and I've been scrapbooking, which is so much fun. I think I've done four layouts over the last two days, so you're going to be seeing those over, over the next couple days or so. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my title down, and I have this alpha that I had stuck in the kit, and it's this navy alpha with polka dots on it. And I haven't really used it very much because I felt like the polka dots kind of threw off the alpha. But for this layout, it's perfect because it has pink polka dots and it's got like, I think it has a, a teal, yeah, it has like teal polka dots on it. It just really works well for um, the colors that I already have on this layout. And so I was really excited to be able to use this alpha. I like to cut my alphas out of the papers if they're in like a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And then I put them in my alpha storage just so I can use them individually and I don't have to use... Um, like a whole 12 by 12 set of um, alphas. This one that I'm pulling these little blue tile alphas off of came in that photo play um, collection kit. So once I decide to disassemble this kit, um, the stash kit, I will cut those alphas out and have them um, individually in my um, alpha storage just so I could pull out if I want a wood grain alpha, I could just pull out that section. I don't have to pull out the full 12 by 12. I am still kind of working through, oh, to update you guys, you know how I kept saying I was missing a box? Well, I have found the box. I finally, since we've been snowed in, um, unpacked a few boxes out of the garage and I found the missing box. So I have found my washi tape, I have found the rest of my die cuts, and I have found my rulers. So I'm incredibly excited about that. So everything is in my craft room now. I've kind of got most things sorted at least to kind of where I want them to go. There's a couple things to where I feel like I just have too much of something so I have it sitting out so I can go ahead and start using it. Um, but coming up soon, I plan to empty everything out of my white cubes and kind of reorganize them. I just think I want to kind of figure out, I was dividing things some things by type and some things by manufacturer. And I want to go back to organizing everything by type. I just feel like I use it better that way. Um, I, I like being able to work with one manufacturer, but I just have found that I'm not using my stash quite as much as I was before. So it just doesn't seem like it's, I like the way it looks. And in theory, I like the way that it functions, but it's just not functioning for the way that I scrapbook. So I'm going to go back to organizing everything by type of product. So I think I just need to make list of categories and then label all my drawers in, um, in shelves and stuff and then sort everything back into them. So I've got to make an extensive list of categories and kind of organize like figure out which one's going to go where and then you're going to see me empty absolutely everything out of all of my storage cubes and um, put them in there according to, to type. So at this point <coughs> excuse me at this point I decided to go ahead I've got my title down I've got some word stickers I've got a few little stickers and I kind of have my little basic um, <coughs> um, a spot where I have that uh, three by four journaling card and that's more of a decorative element it just says love 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 all over it and I really thought it was pretty and it needed something right there to go over the rest of my title. So it says something very special. And I'm going to talk about the relationship that, the, that my mom has with her grandsons. And it's so incredibly special. She adores those kids. And they absolutely think she um, is just absolutely amazing. So I think it's a really cute relationship. And I like to, I like to document that whenever I can. Um, so I've got this pink label and I'm going to layer it over that journaling card and that's going to be where I might do my journaling. I don't have a ton of journaling, but I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling. I'm testing out my pen to make sure it's working. 
and then I'm going to get to writing here. So I have recently purchased these pens and this was over the like Christmas break when we were moving. I didn't purchase a whole lot, but I bought a new planner and I also um, purchased these pens and I really love them. So it's the Pilot Friction pens. They're erasable pens, but I love them. I got two different packs. So I've got two different sets of colors, but I like, it's not a really, really bold black, but it's kind of like a slate colored black. And so I really like that on things like this layout where I have that gray um, typing on that journaling card. So I just felt like it, it works really well. And I love the fact that I can erase it um, because I don't always uh, write things perfectly the first time, but I don't always have duplicates of the items that I'm writing on. So I like to be able to erase it. I just think that's a really cool thing. And it erases very, very well. As I was going through my die cuts here, I have a lot of pink ones and I had pulled these out. These are some that um, Denise, I think, had sent me whenever she sent me a, uh, a goodie box. She doesn't scrapbook with a lot of pinks and so she had just sent me all of her pink items because I do scrapbook with it. So these um, really beautiful flowers were in there and I haven't really found a way to use them yet. So I decided to go ahead and put them on this layout. I had a couple different styles of them. Some of them have gold on them. Some of them have navy blue leaves. So I just pulled all the ones that were kind of similar here they're kind of a watercolory look and I am decorating around this layout and it's going to be a really large type of decoration so I'm not going to do a whole lot of other embellishing other than this um, but I think it adds such an impact on this layout and it's just so pretty um, and this again this layout went a little bit in a different direction than I originally thought. It went more along the pink and pretty kind of um, scrapbooking style or color scheme, I guess you could say. But I think it has enough blue and then the wood grain as well to just kind of make it to where it's not entirely all pink. It's got a little bit um, of a masculine look to it as well. It also helps that like Kaylin's wearing a pink shirt and stuff like that. So it all kind of ties in together. I've got a couple different stickers. Um, a couple of them say like forever and time for adventure and let's, uh, I think it says, let's get, go, let's go. And then this one says, um, <laughs> uh, there's happiness, right? Or that's happiness right there. And I'm just kind of embellishing around my, um, the layout with a couple of stickers. It's a fairly simple layout, but I think it makes a really pretty, um, uh, finished product and a really pretty, um, addition to my scrapbook. I like scrapbooking in different styles because I think as you flip through my scrapbook, you can see a bunch of different, um, styles and the layouts don't get boring or anything like that. So, and I, I just kind of go with the flow. I go with whatever feels right. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll have some still photos at the end for you and let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.